Hey, what's up you guys? I am in my bedroom and it's a totally new setting and it probably is a totally different look. And it's gonna be chaos in here because my cats are in here, so yeah. But anyways, I got a new camera, yay! No more filming on the cell phone, I'm so happy. And I have a viewfinder right here, so it's gonna be really hard for me not to look over here. So I'll try my best not to. But anyways, um, I'm re-filming this for the third time just because I do have my camera and I want to give you guys better quality. But anyways, I am going to finally tell you guys the story of how I was bullied. And I was originally going to tell you what happened in my middle school years, which was pretty bad, I will say. But I thought about it and I was like, you know what? There's a cat down below me right now and he's like pawing at me. <laughs> um, I thought about it and I was just like, no, I'm not going to tell you guys that. Please stop it. Ah, so much chaos. I want to tell you guys what happened to me in a relationship. And I have not told anybody about this. There's only like a couple of people that know, like my sister. And, uh, and maybe a couple of friends know that what happened. But... Yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, yeah, and my husband knows, but <laughs> I told him how horrible it was, but anyways. Um, yeah, I just wanted to tell you guys about that instead because I feel like how I got bullied in middle school, which was, you know, I was called names and whatnot, of course, but um, the story, yeah, but what happened in this relationship was um, it was abusive and there was a lot of bullying involved, so I really want to help someone that might be going through this. So I'm going to tell you guys my story. So I will start off in middle school and tell you guys that, you know, whenever I was bullied, it was because of my awkwardness. And my awkwardness was because I was taller than everybody else and I hit my growth spurt quicker than everyone else. And um, it just caused people to pick on me more. And I was really, really, really skinny. I could not gain weight. Absolutely could not gain weight no matter what. And uh, my pants did not fit me at all. So literally was wearing uh capris but they was too long to be capris but too short to be pants so yeah i couldn't find anything to fit me so um i was picked on about that i was also picked about uh my arms um at the time whenever i was younger my arm hair was really dark because my skin was so pale and it was very noticeable and this the kids pointed that out and i was called names like werewolf and i was called gorilla and just any animal that they could think of that was hairy that's what i was called so um i'm trying to film this before the sun goes down so i'm sorry if it gets dark but anyways um yeah called all those names it really hurt me but for some reason in middle school i was just really strong um Nothing like that bothered me for too long. You know, I'd go home cry about it. And then the next day I'd deal with it again. So I just was kind of immune to it. I knew I was awkward. I just knew it and I just accepted it. So I think that's why I kind of just brushed it off as much as I did. So we will fast forward to high school. Now in high school I did not get picked on at all. Um, I did go through some like hard stuff in high school. But you know what? It's high school. There was drama. Blah, blah, blah. Um, I loved my freshman year more than anything, well, half of my freshman year, and then the rest of my high school years sucked But I mean, seriously, it was the worst. It was a nightmare. High school was a nightmare for me. And, uh, what was probably the worst was my senior year, and that's the year you're supposed to go out, have fun, do what you're supposed to do, you know, live life, and I did not live life. I lived a miserable life because... I was in a relationship that was abusive. So I'll start off by telling you that whenever we first started dating, you know, it was already controlling because he didn't trust me and um, I don't know why I stuck around. <laughs> it's like I was trying to prove to him, you can trust me and it didn't even matter how long I tried to prove it to him, he never did. But that's kind of to give you guys a little insight of what happened in a relationship. He did not trust me, period. For no reason. So, um, it was mainly towards the end of our relationship when it got really bad, um, with the bullying. Um, it started out with, like, stuff like, I would do something, just say, like, he done something to make me laugh. Or somebody done something to make me laugh. He'd be like, oh my god, don't do that face, you look so ugly. 
And of course I was just like, what? Don't do that because I look so ugly. Okay, so he said that on a daily basis. So, you know, I'm thinking, okay, I must look ugly. I started to become aware of my looks and whatnot. Um, just catching myself not making the faces that he constantly would say I looked ugly for. And it was just little stuff like that that would kind of get me. And then we're going, we're headed down like a downward spiral in our relationship. So, like, we're, we're not getting along whatnot. So, we go, I remember we're out to lunch one day. And he looks at me, at my face, and he's just like, God, your nose is really big. And, of course, I was just like, what? And he was like, your nose, it's really long. And I was just like, like, what do you say to that? Like, you're pointing out something I didn't even know was wrong with me. I didn't even know what to say. I don't even think I said anything. But probably shut up. <laughs> um, I just went home and I was just thinking about it like, my nose? Like, it's long? I never even thought about it. So, this is where the nightmare begins. I started constantly looking in the mirror that night, right? I started constantly taking pictures of my nose that night. I was literally doing this, taking pictures of my nose, turning this way to see how long it was. Just to see like, you know, is it really that long? But I constantly took pictures that night and uh, that's where I become obsessed with my nose. Um, you know, a couple of months down the road, it got worse, of course. Um, I'm not going to get into details about the relationship because that's a whole different story with the physical abuse and stuff. So, I'll just tell you guys that I went through the ringer with this and it basically led up to, I mean, it was hell for me. So, it led up to us breaking up. Before we broke up, he made sure to tell me how ugly I was and, uh, that nobody would ever be with me. He said my teeth were so yellow. At the time, I drank a lot of pop, so my teeth were kind of stained. Now they're white, so. <laughs> but <laughs> anyways, um, he told me that my teeth were so yellow. He doesn't even know, like, uh, oh yeah. He said my teeth were so yellow. He didn't even ever want to kiss me. He said that my arm hair was disgusting. Plot twist, the person that called me a gorilla back then in middle school was the person that I was with that was making fun of me. Yeah, I am totally a fool, and I'm sorry if you hear my dog barking. Oh, I know that can be annoying. He was the person that started the whole gorilla thing back in middle school, and he called me that before he was getting ready to break up. <laughs> and um, he said some other really mean things too. He actually pointed out my weight. And I'll try to insert a picture right now of how skinny I was back in high school. I was really self-conscious about it. If I got sick or anything, like, I would lose my weight just like that. It really sucked um, because I, you know, I, like I said, I was self-conscious about it. And he knew that. So, and he also pointed out my nose again because he knew that he made me self-conscious about that as well. We broke up. Thank God. And it was over. I, you know obviously took it to heart what he said about my nose and you know my whole appearance like I thought I was ugly I thought I looked like a monster I developed something in my head that wasn't even there like I would look in the mirror and I would see something that was hideous I would point things out and be like oh my god I am ugly I am ugly and you know what that gets on people's nerves whenever you're constantly saying you're ugly and I mean there wasn't anything wrong. It really wasn't. I'm not, like, trying to toot my own horn. Oh, I'm beautiful. But I'm just saying, like, everyone's beautiful. Don't hate on yourself and say you're ugly. But that's what I was doing. And I didn't need to do that at all. It was just, it's so vain of me to sit there and, like, talk about my looks all the time. And say how ugly I am. I couldn't help it. So, like, I was driving my mom insane. I was telling her, you know, I want to get surgery on my nose. I want to fix my ugly nose. Um, I hate myself. I, I just, I don't even know if I can live like this anymore. It really sucked. You know, I was playing all these things in my head. Like, I'm a hideous monster and nobody's going to ever want to be with me. So, uh, fast forwarding to when I started dating Gregory, which is my husband. And I uh, never dated anybody really like him. He constantly told me I was beautiful. And seriously was the sweetest thing in the world. 
made me really happy. Hang on, I'm gonna go in here so that... Hey guys, I'm sitting on my floor so I can get a little bit more light, but, um, where was I at? But, um, when I started dating Gregory, he treated me so well, and he constantly told me I was beautiful, and he went through a lot with me, with all the stuff that I was going through at the time, thinking I was ugly, and whatnot. I actually started breaking out in cystic acne when I was with him. Which really sucked because that was just the cherry on top of the huge cake I was on. <laughs> Whatever that means. Yeah, um, I got on Accutane, which is really dangerous. I wouldn't recommend it. But if you have really bad acne, probably wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> but I didn't have that bad of acne. It would just come and go. But when it would come, it would all come all at once. So um, that made me feel worse about myself, but I got on it, even though it risked my life, it risked my health, I got on it anyways, and it's really sad to think about it that way, because I done this because of what one person said, and I'll tell you guys that, you know, it took me six years to finally get over myself, <laughs> get over that I'm not ugly, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I know it sounds, I don't like how it sounds, but I'm, I'm just saying that I don't feel ugly, I feel confident, and I'm, I care less about my nose, uh, if this was a couple of years ago, I probably wouldn't even look at this camera to the side, I, I wouldn't turn to the side, because of my nose, and I was so self-conscious about it, I was self-conscious about everything, and, it's because of what one person said, and, you know, like I said before, I wasn't going to get into the relationship at all, but that relationship brought me down, I mean, real, down to a really, really bad place. To a place that I almost could not get out of, and if it wasn't for my husband, then I really don't know what I would have done, because I would still probably be thinking that I am some hideous monster. That's really sad to think. My husband got me out of it. Thank God. So, thank you, Gregory. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's my bullying story. I want to tell you guys that if you're ever in some type of relationship that is abusive and they're bullying you, get out now. Because if you don't, then your life, there will be no life for you. It will be a constant struggle. And I went through a struggle and I didn't even stay with this person. It took me a long time to get out of that place. So if you're going through that, get out of it now. It's not worth it at all. There's somebody else out there for you. Or if you have a friend that is doing it to you, no, don't put up with it. Stop. Mark that. I can cut people out of my life very easily, and maybe that's not such a good trait, but whenever somebody's hurting me in a way that is bringing me down and is causing me pain in my life, I cut them out. So, my advice to you is to never let anyone treat you less than what you're worth. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and my new camera. Gotta take Christmas decorations down, but... I love you guys so much and uh, watch my video next Wednesday. It'll be better, I promise. I know this is really sad. <laughs> I love you guys. Bye. Now I have to figure out how to cut this off. Shoot.